Hello, this is Schedulitics and welcome to today's session. If you are new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you are notified whenever a new video is released. If you watch our previous video, we highlighted how we can use the Stata platform, the SPSS platform, the JAS platform to run the one way and over the non-parametric version, which is Kuska Wallace. In this particular video, we are going to use the GraphPad Prism to run Kuskawali's tests, which is the non-parametric version of one-way ANOVA. This becomes necessary when you realize your dependent variable is not normally distributed. And so once you have your data set stratified based on the categories of your category card variable, you will straight go to analyze and then you click on analyze. Then there is one way and over here into brackets and non-parametric. You check that and then we'll click on what? Okay. Immediately we do that, we have a drop-down menu which tells us experimental design. We are going to select no matching or pairing. And then when we come to the assume Gaussian distribution, this is where we are going to select no and use non-parametric tests. And at the bottom here, it gives us the test that is running, which is based on your choice on all the tabs, PRISM will perform Kuskar Wallis test, which is the test of choice we set out to perform. So right, we are on, on point, and then we'll go to a multiple comparison. We are not interested in doing any multiple comparison, so we check the no, and the options will be unchecked because there's no comparisons to be made. Now, once we have all these things set out, we just click on OK, and then we allow GraphPad to give us our results. So right here, it does the analysis, gives us the significant level, which is the p-value, and then it gives us an interpretation of it. Now, right here, we find that the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So do the medians vary significantly? The answer is yes. Why? Because the p-value is statistically significant. This is the kuska wally statistic, and this is the number of... Uh, number of values that we have dealt with and we have four categories of the categorical variable marital status we were dealing with so basically this is how one can be able to run a non-parametric version of ANOVA which is the Kuska Wallis test using the graph part prism and this is how you can be able to do the interpretation if you like content such as this we encourage you to share and like until we meet again on our next one this is schedulitics and it's a bye